Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd show you how I go from 6mm stretches to hopefully 7mm stretches. Um, yeah, I finally decided to stretch on to uh, 10mm, which is I think zero gauge in American. Yeah, I'll just put the uh, information like in the title and stuff because I don't know like difference between measurements. Um, but anyway, that's what we're gonna do today, so let's get started. First off, I did want to mention a few things. Um, obviously, for sure, make sure that all your stuff is clean that you're going to use. Um, and the stuff you'll need is a stretching pin for starts, which um, is going to end at the size where you want to end up with. Uh, jewelry for in the stretches. I uh, always use surgical steel tunnels with an O-ring, so I can just shove it in there after the uh, stretching pin and be done with it. One per ear, obviously, of the jewelry. Um, because the stretching pin, like, technology doesn't go as far that I can make you feel it, but it's, trust me, it's massive, heavy, not something you want to have in your ear because it's just going to flop around and be really annoying, so you don't want that, probably. Um, so, yeah, also another thing, I don't have personal experience with it, and I'm sure not gonna try it out, but I've read that, um, you know, like, more, I don't know what the word is in English, but less um, dense materials, like wood, can actually suck themselves against the flesh in a very fresh stretch and get stuck. So try to go for metal and not for wood. Because it sounds like a very unpleasant experience to go through otherwise. Um, also, uh, healing time. I usually wait at least four weeks be between stretches. Um, just so my ear has the chance to just accept the new size, basically. Like for some people it goes quicker, for some people it goes slower. Um, but listen to your body. Stretching is never supposed to hurt. You don't want to tear anything. Um, so just give your body the time to adjust to it. Um, on that note also, I'm going to try to go from 6mm to 7mm. Um, if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to go to 6.5mm first. But, you know, just, you know, again, it's not supposed to hurt. So you can try to go a bigger size up. But if it doesn't work, just go a smaller size up first. Basically, just be safe with it. Um, lastly, I buy all my stuff at alloverpiercings.nl. Not sponsored. They just have very good quality of stuff. So if you wanted to know that, now you know. Um, so yeah, without out of the way, I'm going to pull you up closer so we can get started. Okay, I just tried it out on this ear and it's super easy. Only the actual O-ring, um, the little elastic that holds the thing in place in the back. That's a bit of a struggle. We're going to continue on that in a second. Um, first off, I just dip the small sides obviously of the stretching pin in the coconut oil and then slide it through now if stuff doesn't go ridiculously unexpectedly easy i really expected to struggle more with this honestly i'm glad i don't but still um you can just hold it in the center for a while while your ear adjusts and then slowly push it through um just give yourself the time like i said and then the idea is to sort of line up the now this is a more challenging part to line up the jewelry with the stretching pin and just push it in. And then we're done. I really expected that to go a lot more difficult. But I'm glad it worked so easily. So now we're at 7 millimeters officially. And now it's time to go struggle with the um, O-rings. Yippee. And meanwhile I'll also uh, tell you why exactly I decided to stretch to this size to begin with. Or rather why I want to go to like 0 gauge aka 10 millimeters. Okay, I got the O-ring on on this side, now I'm going to struggle with the other side. I just dumped it around the stretching pin for a little bit to hopefully stretch it a little bit. Acrylic nails and piercings aren't always, like, they're, they're two things I love, but, like, it's, it's difficult sometimes. Um, technically, if you can't get the O-ring on, they will probably stay in place this way as well. Um, the reason I don't use double flared in a fresh stretch is simply because the flare is obviously bigger than the hole. And with a very fresh stretch, you might not actually be able to just get it through there. Um, so yeah, that's why I went for this uh, version. But yeah, anyway, the reason I wanted to go for 10 millimeters as opposed to sticking to my 6 millimeters. Wow, hear me complain about the O-ring and now it's already on there. Things are going so really smooth today that I'm kind of getting suspicious here. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna enjoy it. Um, but the point is though, I wanted to go to 10 millimeters from 6 millimeters simply because at 6 millimeters. I don't know, like I like 6mm because I like the number 6, because that's my logic. But the point is really with 6mm is there's very little cool jewelry that you can actually use. 
And with 10 millimeters zero gauge, you just have way, way more cool jewelry that you can put in it. Um, while it's still small enough that you can also still use normal dangle earrings. Um, and I don't like it if, like, on me, I wouldn't like it if the holes were really big and then I would put dangle earrings in. Um, but for me, like, one mil, one millimeter, one centimeter, 10 millimeters, zero gauge, is about the uh, point where I find it big enough. Also, I was watching Mikey's videos, uh, aka Glam and Gore, and she has slightly bigger stretches, and I was like, hmm, that actually really looks really, really cool. So I wanted it too, so that's why I also decided to stretch on, just because I just ended up feeling like I think I'll like 10 millimeters more than I'll like 6 millimeters in the end. So yeah, that's really my logic. It's still small enough that I can use dangle earrings and still personally find it looking good. But it's also big enough that it actually looks like something more and there's way more jewelry available for it. So that's my um, reasons. And yeah, that's basically the uh, final results. I just put some, well, these aren't dangle earrings really, these are hoop earrings. But this is what I meant, like it still looks cool this way. Um, so yeah, that was uh, it for today. By the way, if you're wondering what's up with my makeup, no, this is not my daily look. This is actually a Twiggy inspired look which I filmed today and I'll link the tutorial somewhere up here. I actually mostly do makeup tutorials. Um, if you want to see those as well as future piercing videos and more stretching videos obviously because we're not there yet. Um, then you can always subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this particular video please click the like button it would really help me out. And uh, that was it for today. Um, also, by the way, if you want to, like, ask me stuff about piercings, you always can. Just keep in mind that I'm not a piercer, I'm not a doctor, I'm just someone who has piercings. So I can only reply to you from my own perspective, my own personal experience, and my own, you know, logic, basically. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, that was it for today, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!